jab to the body. Boom, boom, boom. Pop. But they'll break them down. And that's what makes you look good against much larger fighter. Stay tuned. All right, you fight fan fanatics out there. This is Bobby D coming to you from the Lombon, Cebu, Philippines. Having an awesome time in the Philippines today. Hope you are as well, wherever you're from. Hey, today, I'm going to bring you the Andy Ruiz versus Anthony Joshua fight. Andy Ruiz opened up a can of whoop, you know what, on Anthony Joshua. And, and I'm going to break it down to you step by step so you'll know what happened. And it was an awesome fight. And before I break the fight down to you, let me set it up. In this clip, you see a fighter that was supposed to fight Anthony Joe Joshua. His name is Big Baby Miller. This is back in April. Big Baby Miller accused Joshua of drugs, having steroids. But when it came down to it, Big Baby Miller failed his drug test. And so Big Baby Miller was disqualified from fighting Joshua and that opened a door for Andy the Destroyer Reed. Here to Madison Square, his skills, he is doing that so far, but getting a bit of a test here early from Andy Ruiz. Ruiz in the white and gold trunks, Joshua in the white with black trim. See the punches, at least the jabs through two rounds, nine to three. All right, folks, now hear this. This is the round that Anthony Joshua knocks Reese down and Reese falls through due to an uppercut. But think about it, he falls on his keister, on his butt. So he didn't his head didn't hit the canvas and he wasn't dazed. This was the first time that Ruiz had ever been knocked down by any man in his career. Ruiz mixes it up, good uppercut, and a hook, puts Ruiz down. Wow, that was fast from Joshua. Five, six, seven, More than two minutes eight, to go in this eight. round. Anthony Joshua is a composed and ferocious finisher. Watch this. 21 knockouts in 21 wins for Anthony Joshua. The champ with the right hand. Ruiz is staggered and an uppercut, trying to hold on. Strafing right. It's not about the fact that Joshua got knocked down and not about the combination knocked him out not about the price it's about the process and how you beat a man before you step into the ring styles makes fights I don't know if AJ understood that this is not a good style for him AJ is a beautiful stylistic fighter one of the things that AJ does great at that he has a very sound and profound jab. But the thing about Ruiz is that whenever you have a style that is known for keeping the head off the line, moving forward, slipping on the outside, going up and under the jab, and jabbing to the body with all, which what he did, and that's what he did all night. He sucked the gas right out of AJ's belly. His oxygen level was consistently depleted. And if you're a person that boxes in the ring or even if you fight in a cage, one of the things you better know is that if you're fighting a guy that lifts weights and does a lot of very physical strength training, you can tap his body of oxygen. And those jabs to the body. But they'll break them down and that's what makes you look good against much larger fighter so now when you see a guy like Andy Ruiz the other things he does is when you're in the clinch with him he hits you to the body mm -hmm. yeah to the body what does that do to a 250 pound man not the same thing he does to a guy that's 168 pounds but what it does is that it depletes the body's oxygen from replenishing so he could not recover. Okay. So when when he was dazed in that third round, two knockdowns for Reese. Reese drops Anthony Johnson twice. After Anthony Johnson drops him once, Reese comes back 
fights like a true champion, a warrior, sound Mexican style fighter, body to the head, head to the body, consistent jab to the stomach, depleting AJ's oxygen face. Reese is a unique pressure fighter. Reese is an elite athlete. Now, you should never judge him by how he looks. Judge him by his ring IQ. Judge him by his fight IQ. He is clear eyed, looking to the eyes of Michael Griffin. But what an answer by Ruiz. Stunning. Joshua on unsteady legs. Both men with knockdowns in this third round. The crowd is stunned. And I don't think Andy, Anthony Joshua thought Andy Ruiz would be able to stand up to that assault. Sergio, how often do you see after you have a knockdown, you figure, all right, let me finish this guy off, and then you're the one in danger. Now, I want you to notice how AJ is holding on to Ruiz. And notice AJ's mouth is wide open. He's trying to get in oxygen because he's depleted from the body punches of Ruiz. Both men Joshua has climbed off the canvas before. Gets Vladimir Klitschko. He was hurt here and Ruiz with a stiff right hand as well. Tremendous answer just when you think the coronation is complete. Joshua in trouble. He is still on shaky legs, Brian. And there is 40 plus seconds left in this round. These are the most important 40 seconds of Andy Ruiz's career. He has a hurt champion in front of him. Box. Joshua now on the ropes. Not moving away. Body shots and uppercuts is what Ruiz should be looking for. Could be measuring him for a counter right. Standing in one spot. Now tapping to the body. Fascinating round three. referee tells Joshua to walk to him. His legs are so wobbly he can't move. He is saved by the bell. All right. Can he step to Michael Griffin? Box. Griffin asked him to walk to me and he didn't. And the First knockdown is of Ruiz. It was a beautiful left hook that put him down. And here we see Joshua coming down, going down for the first time. Ruiz has heavy hands, and his hands are fast. And every time he hits Joshua, he throws combinations. Not just a single punch, combinations. That's the mark of an experienced fighter. Beautiful left hook right on the temple. Took the legs right out of Joshua. And here's the second knockdown. These shots in round six. Chris, how do you look at your scoring on that? How do you score that round? I gave it to Andrew Ruiz, 58-57 in favor of Ruiz. The last 40 seconds of that round, Brian, I think Anthony Joshua threw one punch, and that was at the very end. Oh, that hook. Almost landing in right hand from Ruiz. And now a barrage. It saves in trouble. And down he goes. Four. Third knockdown of the fight six, for Ruiz. Seven. Well, not quite a win, but he flashes his eyebrows. He better throw his hands. The champ is in trouble. Look for an overhand right here, Brian. Joshua with the hard jab. Trying to answer, but he says that he's down again. Wow. Joshua looks gas. No piece came flying out of his mouth. Six, seven, eight. He's been down four times. Hey, turn around. You can. Joshua turning to his corner. He's got to be careful here. He's got to stay engaged. Okay, Where is his mouthpiece? Ready, Mox? Joshua.
Joshua looks so tired. I think he wants out. He says that's it. He says that's it. Andy Ruiz. This is round seven. You don't want to exchange punches with the man with the faster hands, and that's why Anthony Joshua got in trouble right there. Re-combinations, the better technique, beat the heavyweight champion tonight. Down, and we're going to stay with this through the stoppage. So there's Michael Griffin doing the right thing, administering the count, picks up the mouthpiece, and you see now... Notice how Anthony Joshua is looking to his corner for help. He perhaps wants to quit. Or maybe them to throw in a towel. This is what I'm talking about. Joshua looking to his corner. He has to engage. He has to step okay, forward. And show the referee. And he boss. wants to continue. And turning his back. You never wow. turn your back on your opponent. Well, he said there, and you can hear him, Sergio. He said, are you ready to box? He got Question for the day. Do you think AJ was looking at his corner to throw in a towel? your comments for me at the comment section of this video and as always remember to like share and subscribe this is bobby d saying take care god bless and peace a towering presence run like the wind be a king or a queen life in the philippines